the day has finally arrived where the indian poker fells are set on fire good evening namaskar and welcome my name is richard haida soham and i'm delighted to welcome you all to the ipc exclusive stream where we all intend to make the trio of the fts commentary laugh without further ado let me again introduce the three maestros that are going to join us this evening he has been a witness to this hunt deep structure gameplay in the november fts ladies and gentlemen please welcome two times wsop bracelet winner and our star international commentator kevin mcfee all the way from canada yeah thank you for having me i'm really excited to be back to do some more commentary on the fts we saw a lot of action last time and uh you know i'm really looking forward to a lot more action and i'm hoping to see a couple friends at these final tables too so it should be a really fun series so excited to to have you on the show along with Kevin we will be joined by none other than the soon to be bollywood actor of course uh, Kevin and guesses <laughs> but of course I'm guessing it Sam <laughs> Sam Rizavi he has cashed more than 200 live tournaments and is a heads up no limit specialist Sam how are you you taking the social media by storm the donald trump was insane i laughed so much oh was that <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. Yeah, it's great to be back. Hopefully I can continue to make a fool of myself in my quest for Bollywood to be discovered by Bollywood. Um and looking forward to yeah, calling in the action. Yeah. <laughs> looking forward to it to make it much more golden. Let me invite India's first female poker pro and national award winner, the queen of Indian poker, Muskan Sethi. How sweet Richard thank you so much for having me I, um, always a pleasure Yes I'm so excited not just to commentate but also sneakily play a few tournaments as well cuz I can <laughs> resist <laughs> Yeah officially the FTS is started and uh, once again welcome to the most entertaining commentating group of one of the best virtual poker series of India with 8 days of action packed tournaments 25 of them to be exact 10 crore guarantee a 30 lakh leader board sam of course the medallions and unveiling the game face uh, uh, we we of us had a discussion with known faces like kunal patni siddarth karya dhirendra kumar and obviously we had a discussion with you last evening where you gave your views of what you're going to expect uh, from fts 2.0 uh, i felt that you know we, we should also have another game you know besides the ar filters and the game face challenge going on and which is why we we're doing this so uh, i would like all the viewers to put in your jokes put in your one liners anything that can make our commentary trio laugh so <laughs> i'm going to i'm going to start throwing situations and you have to make your face for that situation uh, so i will uh, probably give you some situations and you have to make your best face and obviously i'm going to start with sam <laughs> um and this is for everyone right you have to make this face okay. uh, so the okay. face is that face sam will make when he sees an fts winner wearing a medallion <laughs> muskan and kevin you are, you have to make those faces as well <laughs> sam has set the bar pretty high though <laughs> I don't know if I can match Sam's intensity but uh Is this a uh, part of not giving any expressions? <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right. All right. Musa not even trying. <laughs> Musa can we have a face? <laughs> I'm already serious. Give it to me. Bring it. <laughs> okay, so I I'll give you another one. I'll give you another one. You the, always have the... a serious face, huh? <laughs> Okay, next one is the face you make when you receive your winnings. Is that me? Everyone, it's it's for everyone. Oh yeah, I thought we started. Oh, yeah, my winnings haven't been that much recently, so it's probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Muskan's got a Muskan's got a nice. <laughs> Muskan's making it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, another one. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, the face you make when you tilt heads up. 
I don't tilt. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. I have a very good mindset coach. Um, I don't think I've ever heard yeah, that, that's <laughs> feeling. <it. laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not playing heads up with you for sure. Um, okay, But, I got one. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Tell me. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, this is it. When 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 you're tilting, just put the hoodie on and just hide. I like how Peter showed us to you know use the pillow and just just scream into it. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that's possibly a good way to de- deal with your tilt. Okay, another one. Ah, uh, another one. Right. The face you make when somebody calls you while you're sleeping. I will not answer that. Like I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm not getting disturbed. I will not wake up. <laughs> That's my face. <laughs> That's totally. That's. No, seriously. Like I hate, hate getting Sam, disturbed. You're so- Sam Stew funny. <laughs> I can't how can you how can you even compare to Sam? I mean, you got here. You got a you got a pro in here playing against us, you know. So This is my even, face when I'm sleeping like and someone's crazy. calling my name. <laughs> you know, that's me too. I wear I wear earplugs and an eye mask. I'm out in the world, you know. Yeah. I I'm a, I'm like a super deep sleeper so I, I probably won't wake up myself. Um so uh, can we have a face for when the fts begins and it has officially begun so uh, how excited are you show me that show me, show me that excitement uh, game face <laughs> wow that was good that was good <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh my god sam wins this if, if this is a competition <laughs> sam just make the commentators taken... laugh contest then sam's already won Yeah, seriously. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm I'm getting a few more. The face you make when you're okay, this when your girl or boy uh, or guy is talking non-stop when 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 your oh. better half is talking non-stop. I am single, so I'll bow this one out. <laughs> <laughs> Mixing it up, he's mixing it up with a smile. Then. <laughs> What? I don't think she's watching. So. Sam, you have such range, man. You have such range. <laughs> he's, he's balanced. I would love to see your headshots. <laughs> okay, the face you make during the last ten seconds of planking. Sam and I are going to sit, sit this one out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a really bad face. I don't even know if I can make it because it's just so. Uh, yeah. mine, mine would be bright red, you know, uh, and just with a big shape. grimace on my face. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Okay, <laughs> so Sam, tell us about tell us about your Bollywood aspirations. I mean, I, I know we've talked talk, spoken about this to death, but wow, did I miss being on stream yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and, and, and Muskan and I was speaking about this, and she's she's all all set to give you some give you some inspiration. Yeah. I, I'd probably probably give you a scene to enact. Yeah, we were yeah. talking about it. I'm up yeah. for that. If you get give me any scene, I'll do my best to uh, to reenact it and. Uh, Pass it around yeah. with the powers that be. <laughs> Can we have a bit of Donald Trump? I mean, wow, that video was so good. Actually, I haven't seen the video, but it's a. Can we see the video? Just uh, saying, um, if if we can play that video, I mean, I was dying when I watched it. I haven't seen this one, so please. Oh my God! Let's 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 see if we can play it. Yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> I can't see him. <laughs> I 
Can you see it? Because I can't. No. Just do it. Oh, okay, no. I don't want to interrupt things. Otherwise, I'm going to ask Sam to do it again right now for us. I yeah, meanwhile, to, you know, did you have to put some bronzing on to make yourself a little more orange for the Donald Trump video? Yep. I, I yeah, got, you did? I grabbed my wife's... Uh, she said, what the hell are you doing? I said, oh, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 So yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't seen that, you should definitely check it out on the IPC pages. I mean, follow the Indian Poker Championship face. There's a ton of content happening there. Sam is doing so many things. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just can't wait to the live streams uh, tomorrow onwards. Uh, I have a couple of jokes, which I'd like to tell you. So get yourself ready. Try to keep the, right. the poker face, the game face on. Uh, try not to laugh. <laughs> Sam, you're making me laugh. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Focus. Uh, what will the US president do after going to the bathroom? Arash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sam. I just felt like such a failure. <laughs> okay, next one. This one. Okay. Did you hear about the Italian chef's death? He passed away. It's so bad. It's so good. That's what I heard. Muskan and Kevin are. That's real bad. I need. That's real bad, right? Okay. I need. So, I mean, if you were, if you're watching the stream, please, please send us better jokes in the chat. Um, I'm clearly not as funny as I think I am. And. Uh, <laughs> okay. Next one. Why does a laundry man never win a hand? Because he never, because he always folds. Okay, I like that. He always folds, you know. No, all right. <laughs> what would you call two spiders who just got married? Two spiders who just got married. Newly webs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. What's an Ashna's favorite board game? Monopoly. <laughs> so <This> cringy. <laughs> okay, it's so bad. It's good. Okay. Yeah, that, that's that's what I was going for. I guess. Uh, why do uh, golfers wear two pants, uh, two pair of pants, so that if they get a hole in one? <laughs> <laughs> we need we need the writer to get us better jokes. I think um, I think that was the best one so far. That was that was a good one. All right, so yeah, let me see if our I guess Mohit Goel writes into saying uh, life is like a game of poker. If you don't have a good pair, you must have a good hand. <laughs> Those are some oh. words of wisdom right there in the chat. And also, uh, Kevin, again, uh, your background, everyone loves it. Oh, just my little... Uh, Where did you get it from? Here. Um, I think I ordered it from Etsy or something like that. I just wanted some tapestries to hang around my place. It was pretty barren walls. But... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's really beautiful. It adds, yeah. adds a nice mood to the room, doesn't it? Uh, when was the last time you went skiing? Uh, a few days ago on yeah. Thursday. Yep. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Sam, yeah. Are, you like, are you kind of convinced to try out skiing? Because I think I'm just, I don't know. I, you know, like you guys scared me a little bit yesterday. <laughs> Those well, stories. Yeah. I've been traumatized a lot. <laughs> Never. I mean, I might. I don't know. I'll teach you, Sam. I'll teach you. Yeah. The trick is when you get frustrated, just go in and have a couple beers and then go back out again. Well, well that's, that's a, liquid, that's liquid courage. 
I can yeah. see myself getting very frustrated at this uh, this skiing game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice though. There's not not much of a feeling like it. But yeah, yeah, I think one day I'll. Uh, yeah, I, so I, I have a couple of jokes again. I don't know how good they are. <laughs> okay, what did, what did the fish say when he swam into a wall? Damn. <laughs> Muskan's gonna kick me okay. out of the <laughs> What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? Can't opener. Oh. Ooh. That's a fun wow. wow. If we make her laugh, though, I mean, look at this stone face, you know. Sam, do you have a joke for Quite the poker face, Muskin. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> there's, there's one in the chat. Okay, I'll say it for you guys. Which poker. animal is best at playing poker? The buffalo, because <laughs> he bluffs. The That's bluffalo. a good one. Uh, the buffalo. <laughs> yeah. Buffalo. That's very good. That sounds like a nice title for a kid's story. I might slowly into <laughs> the adventure of the buffalo in seven of Yeah. <laughs> that so now, nice, now, nice now, where are we doing a stare down competition? We call we used to call that cowboy facing. So you know, like in the old western, when the guy comes into the bar, into the saloon, he swings the door open. He goes up to the bar. He goes shot or rye, and they throw the shot or rye on the table. And he looks at the guy next to him, and he goes, and he just stares him right in the face mm -hmm. as he takes the, the shot of rye, stone cold face. We used to call that cowboy facing, and we would practice it. In fact, Jake Cody <laughs> in the Bahamas. And Dylan Lindy, we got into a cowboy face competition. We were just taking shots, like wow. the, the hardest, worst shots that we could take and trying to stare each other in the face and not oh, break. Wow. And uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Pretty fun. We did a whole, <laughs> it became a thing, the cowboy Who face, you, you know. Uh, you know, I think we all lost in the end, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think it ended up with a with a breaking into the water slides late at night sort of sort of adventure. So maybe um, we all won. <laughs> those water slides. Were you talking about the Bahamas, right? Yeah, at Atlantis. Yeah, uh, those water slides are the best because I used to love it when you get down. You can just sit on a like a travel atrium and just go back up instead of having to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That sounds like fun. Uh, <laughs> Oh, there's another one. What do you call a poker player that is also a doctor? This okay. seems more like a riddle also. It's, it's fun to guess. Let's guess before we laugh. Um, what do you call a poker call player a poker that's also a doctor? Uh, Evil. Um, I don't... I can't even... <laughs> I think they're going to leave us hanging with the answer. There's no reply there. There's no, uh... I give up. Mohit, please tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Before we have to Google it. Mo Mohit just asked the question and he, he, just, he just logged off. He's a guess, guess. He's, He's like, like, you have to guess. Um, I got it. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you call a fly with no wings? Cardiologist. A fly with no wings can't fly something. something walk. I better message my dad for some jokes after all of this. <laughs> <laughs> There's an old one we used to do. Bring some my... to the table next time. <laughs> There's an old one we used to do because of my brother's name, I think. What do you call a guy with ham on his head? Hamed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a guy with more ham on his head? 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, God. It's, you can tell it's Sunday, can't you? Um, so, you are missing out on a great tournament tonight, Sam and Kevin. Uh, we have the kickoff also, right? At 8 p.m., Richard? Yes, and the we first... have the kickoff. The first tournament just started at 6. Yeah. And, so. Um, we have the kickoff, which is 11,000 11, buy-in. I was kind of very excited to play that one. And all of you should uh, play that as well. Unfortunately, Sam and Kevin won't be able to play, but they will uh, commentate on It's a 75 like guarantee tournament starting at 8 p.m. Uh, so definitely the big one today is the big, uh, is the kickoff. Yeah. And Sam, like we've, we've, are we still on with our bet of uh, smashing the guarantees with Peter? Uh, but I, I, I was kind of confused. Like we all said it's going to be over eleven, and what did he say? He said ten point eight, right? He said ten point eight, yeah. 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 So I mean, yeah. Let's let's just. What, what did it get last time? It got it. It beat the guarantee, but the guarantee was like eight. So the last time, right? time we got eight, eight crore, and we got nine. So okay. yeah, pretty decent guarantee. Crush this time. Uh, another question that I actually now now that we're talking about the guarantee, it comes to mind that I asked on the last stream we had with the uh, with the pros from you know the winners from the last uh, uh, FTS was that if you were to give up, you know the the players one tip uh, you know, about strategy about mindset anything that comes to your mind for specifically uh, you know a schedule like this uh, where there are so many tournaments lined up. What would it be? And I mean, obviously, I would like uh, for you to wish them, uh, you know, the best of luck. So, well, I can. We can start with you. Yeah, go for it, Ken. Sorry. Okay. Well, I mean, my my first tip is just to be patient and to visualize success and know how long the tournament's going to be and be prepared to be there until the end to be victorious and get that medallion. So really sitting down and visualizing success and being prepared is just as important as anything else. So uh, that would be my one bit of advice. And also just play your game and have fun. That would be it. Have fun and, you know, be, um, be well rested uh, apart from being well prepared and organized. And that's it. Like, give your best and don't don't overthink sports. Like, I think just play for like 10 days, uh, give your best. And then later is the time when you sit down and, you know, go through your hand histories and really work on things. Yeah, I was going to say, just make sure you um, <clears throat> uh, make sure you, you're well rested. That was the number one point, uh, especially with the. Uh, I mean, that's what I always try to take into account with uh, playing online. I'm not sure exactly uh, the time scales there, but it's, it's quite hard after, especially if you run deep in a tournament and you, you, you know, you're on that high. Before you know it, you've been up all night and then you don't want to, you don't want to sleep because you might miss the next tournament or whatever. Just try to, try to get enough rest. And if you do win a tournament, um, you know, the cost of shipping the medallion is, you know, quite expensive. So maybe just. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, whoever. Yeah. We'll um, figure this out. <laughs> we'll figure this out. Uh, also, uh, uh, another question that, that I'd like to ask you is, uh, when you when you register tournaments for a, a online grind, what is the, um, how many hours do you register it for? So if you play a first tournament, say, at 8, for how many hours after that do you register? Foot, you know, for a grind, do you rest for a couple of hours or just rest for like the, the first two or three? Um, what's what's you know, each one of yours? Preference? I'll give a quick answer for that. Uh, I am comfortable uh, to play around like 60 big blinds or you know, deep. I don't like to play too, too, um, uh, like I don't like to play from the start. Um, in some tournaments, I feel like there's a lot of edge to start from the, from the beginning. But a few tournaments that I feel uh, that I'll do better if I get in late. So it really depends on what you like. Both the things uh, so, are fine. Like if you late to edge, it's okay. So I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry uh, my question actually was, was if you were to uh, register your first tournament eight and you want to play like a couple more tournaments, uh, within within what time range 
change would you register so if you did your first tournament eight would you register your second tournament what's the maximum time you would like to play like what's your what's your uh, uh, in how many tournaments would you register and within what time frame at at one time um and I, I guess so it's always very pre-planned your schedule right you already know that i'm playing these three major feature events on the side i'm gonna run some other tournaments so you really focus on the feature events and those are your uh, milestones so you have to see that if i start playing at eight and my other major tournaments at 11 pm then you might as well start a bit later because you know you want to uh, be right. super fresh. Uh, so that's what that's how I see it. And the other smaller tournaments, like you don't really uh, change your timings for that. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, back in the day when I would register tournaments in the golden age of online poker, when it was fully legal in America, uh, I would wake up in the morning and I would register at 6 a.m. and I would go until about 4 or 5 p.m. And I would play, you know, about 12 to 16 hours a day. But these, and I would play up to 36 tables at a time. I had three monitors. Wow. I would play on five different sites. Uh, these days, uh, there's not as many tournaments. I had a rule before if it was over $10,000 to the winner, I would always play it. You know, now I kind of cater, cater my schedule around the flagship tournaments. Um, I, I know when I want to register those, I want to register those on time. So I'm deep stacked. And then I try to limit my tables now. I don't play nearly as much. I try to keep between six to 12. Really, six is like the number for me. So just play whatever number of tables you're comfortable with. But usually I target that flagship event. And then I kind of, you know, as I bust things, I'll add, add other tournaments. Now, the flagship events, I like to register on time. You know, I like to be in when all the fish in, are in, when all the satellite winners are in, because the satellite winners get sat at the beginning of the tournament. So if a tournament is satellite fed, you want to be in from the beginning, you know. But but then late registering the other side events is never an issue. You always will be making money by registering a tournament late. If you're the last possible second to register, you, you get the same amount of chips as if you register on time. But now maybe a third or half the field is gone. So instantly your stack is worth more money. So I just target that flagship event, try to find some good late edge spots for some other side events and manage my tables. I want my attention span to be on that big main event though. So I try not to distract myself from that. And I will register for about five or six hours, generally speaking these days. Sorry if that was long winded. No, that was very well, very <laughs> that, was, that was great. Sam? Yeah. When, uh, as Kevin was talking about the golden age of uh, poker, for me it was um, a case of click the button so there's nothing left in the account or I'm break even. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to, when I used to play online, it was usually heads up uh, cash games. But so I, I never, I've never really got to the stage where I've been grinding, you know, like like most online players, like a big schedule. These days, even less. I don't have. I don't have much patience for playing online anymore um, in terms of from the start of tournaments. So if I ever want to play a session, I'll play, I'll, I'll do exactly what Kevin and Muscana talked about, a late re max late reg so that, you know, I can go on a spin up uh, or a spin down and then my session is either quite short or if I do make a final table, I haven't been sat there for, you know, uh, Time is a bit precious these days, so yeah. Um, I want to play online now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for all for all you viewers, the FTS uh, has already started uh, eight days of uh, you know back to back tournaments. Obviously, uh, these awesome commentators are going to be doing the live stream tomorrow onwards, six p.m. every day. Uh, any final thoughts, uh, guys? Good luck. Yeah, but just yeah. best of luck to everybody. I have a lot of friends competing in this, and I'm hoping that some of them make the final tables so I get to pick their game apart. <laughs> uh, thank you so much uh, for joining <laughs> us. It was a pleasure. Uh, sorry, sorry, Sam. Sam, you're saying something. I was just saying, yeah, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, good, good luck to everyone. Medallions for good karma throughout the week as well. Um, <laughs> The medallions. Sam, do you you, you want to do that at once? <laughs> because 
master wants the precious medallion. <laughs> <laughs> too many <laughs> if you win the FTS, uh, any any FTS event, and you have a medallion, uh, so don't don't pick up your phone when an unknown number calls you because it might be Sam. <laughs> Thank you, guys. It was great talking to you. Uh, we will uh, uh, join you guys for the live stream from tomorrow. All the viewers will be joining. Good luck to everyone. Um, you're a tough crowd. Let me just say that, and um, <laughs> which which makes you all uh, you know the best in poker. This was legendary. This was our FTS commentators. Once again, guys, FTS 2.2 has commenced for a 10 crore guarantee. The medallions, the game face mask, the live stream. Uh, so what are you waiting for? Put on your game faces and get ready to smash the digital felts. On behalf of Sam, Kevin, and Muskan, this is Richard Haizasom for IPC Exclusive Live. Signing out. See you at the live stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. at IPC Live. Or our Facebook channels, uh, stay tuned and uh, pay responsibly. Wow.